Good morning here. Uh, this is Kyle Farley with AMPM Guide Service in partnership with Angling Outfitters in Woodstock, Ontario. Today we're going to be going through the Lawrence Active Target or the Garmin Live Scope uh, mounting pole for your boat. This is going to be a do-it-yourself or homemade version and without further ado we're going to start the build. I'm just going to go through the components on uh, what we're going to use for today. This here and this here is electrical metal tubing. Uh, you can get it at your Home Depot and then this is in half an inch. This is three quarter inch PVC Schedule 40 uh, in the exact same section, right side by side. And these couplings are for the electrical metal tubing in the half inch version. These are bicycle quick clamps. I'm probably going to use as a uh, clamp to move the pole up and down. And then uh, these all attach to my ram mount, which I have here and I had left laying around. So ultimately I've measured from the top of my boat on the deck, casting deck, and where it sits and where I plan to mount it. So I plan to mount it at the very tip of my boat. And I want it 24 inches above that. So it's at about standing height where I can reach it. And then so I'm gonna also have that about 60 inches below um, the edge of my boat because my boat and my bow sit a lot higher in the water than the most, especially if you're a bass boat. You may only want 40 inches um, below the edge of the boat. Whereas myself, I want 60 inches. So I'm going to measure that and this is where I'm going to cut it. So after this cut, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Schedule 40 PVC. This remainder thing is going to be my extended handle coming out uh, from the top of the uh, pole. After performing this cut on the half inch EMT, we're going to do another cut off the PVC three quarter inch. But we're going to measure from how the tight of our ram mount up higher because we don't necessarily need it as far below our ram mount simply due to the fact that um, we're going to be extending the pole the inside of it down below the water but we also want to be able to retract it up and then retreat it and lay it down alongside our trolling motor the ram mount's not quite wide enough on a couple hole mounts it's just going to widen up a little bit on each side Mark it and just screw it. All right, now I'm going to attach the clamps to the ram mount. Now that we got our clamps in and we got our schedule 40 tied to the proper height, we're going to slide this in to our proper height and we are going to tighten now the PVC schedule inside the ram mount we're going to install the rest of the hardware we're going to install these lock washers on here as well once we've assembled on the clamp here this is how it's going to look and this is where it's going to be facing forward out towards the water and then the uh, half inch EMT pipe is going to be sitting down with a transducer on it. Take a file to the end of the EMT pipe, Turn it all out. Just so we don't have any burners in it. Now, as it fits inside the pipe perfectly. That's going to sit on the pole. Now we're going to attach the couplings here. There's one of two ways we can do this. We can do a straight coupling coupling with a shark bite fitting, or we could do an angled fitting like this and just screw it on to remove. Depending on how the look you want for your handle. Now it can be straight out like this, attached, or this with a shark bite foot fitting. It'll come up on a 90 degree angle and turn as you turn it. So with my handle, I'm gonna go with the 90 degree coupling here with a screw in. And then I'm gonna use this excess EMT half inch. And then I'm gonna probably make my handle probably about a foot, foot and a half in length. And I can turn it as I need it. And I can also remove this if I need it here. All right, I'm gonna be attaching my 90 degree. This model has a Robertson screw head on it. Right. Now I'm going to look at my handle, I'm going to measure how long I want it out from my boat, but I'm going to take it out to my boat right now and then to see how long I want it. 
All right, I'm at my boat here again. I'm simulating where I want this positioned height. So I've got the height I want. And now I just gotta figure out exactly how long I want this handle. For me, about a foot, foot and a half seems about all right. It gives me about a foot clearance over my trolling motor. All right, placing one final cut on my handle. Where I've marked it off. Checking my measurements. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna do some final filing here. And then I'm gonna insert this into my handle. All the way to the back. And perfect. All right, folks, this is the last part of the uh, equation here. Um, so this here is a bicycle clamp I got from Amazon for about $5. And here's a cutoff from the end of the PVC 40 that we we're using earlier today. Now, um, I'm putting duct tape around the PVC 40 and I put a little slit inside of it here. If you can see that, I'm gonna cut in there and duct tape around it. I'm gonna place that in, right inside on this side here. It's nice and tight like that. So this is gonna act as a clamp on top of your half inch EMT tubing. So when we put it through like this, I'm gonna show you. This is gonna be our stopper. And there goes my drill. This is gonna be our stopper. It clamps nice and tight. It stops here, turns nice and freely, but yet it's nice and secure. So this aluminum tubing inside this PVC 40 is actually a very stiff and solid option. And then this whole setup keeps it nice, very lightweight, and yet uh, strong. Now, and with this clamp, you can adjust it higher. Nice quick clamp higher, lower, depending on your needs for the day and your situation fishing. And now, now I'm drilling my pilot holes. Rock solid. Here's the end of the active target, the pole here. And we've got our finished product. All the way up through here, return, and our handle. Oh, that is a quick clamp. I've got to finish zip tying that in. Where are our ram mounts mounted? All the way down to our pole here. For one of the last steps here, I actually painted the pole. I've done three coats of primer and two coats of paint on it, and this is the end product looks like. I didn't paint the actual quick release clamp at the very end. So I thought the sil silver contrast looked great. Here's the middle. And here's the end of the pole. So this is the end of the build on the pole for the active target or the live scope. I'm gonna show you how it deploys. I haven't installed the active target as of yet. So the transducer's not on, but we're gonna run, be running the cord up through here, attach it here and back out through here. Uh, we're not going to be running down to the tubing here because we're going to be turning it left and right. We're not going to be able to turn massive 360s or anything like that. So we don't need a whole lot of cord. And we don't necessarily need to run it through the tubing because I'm not a big fan of the tubing coming out through the pipe here, like in a lot of PVC builds. Now here I'm going to show you how it deploys and how it sets back now. Over right here, turning left, turning right, straight, and then while it's down like this, Left up, you can adjust the clamp up and down for how the height you want. Go like this. The transmission will be on the end, and then we'll just stow this like that. Clamp it down. The transmission will be sitting here, and my trolling motor will be moved up and sit back down here. You can clamp them together, 
or you can clamp them separately and have a brace for them. So this is a simple yet strong build. And uh, this is a kind of a do-it-yourself. The total cost is about $40 Canadian. So about $30 for you Americans. And very cheap, very solid, and very easy to build. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe and we'll have more content coming your way. Thank you for your time.